Oh, hello and welcome back, my royal rogues. I'm waiting for your chat messages. Tell me, are you here? Fifth year, you are, you are ready. Good evening from Manchester. We got a very funny, very funny episode today about the hard calls. We, we already have Tom Bauer's book at last on pre sale, pre order. And I thought that the Harkles were going to, uh, expected that they were going to just uh, skip this one. Uh, this is not something that they will be able to do easily. Hello, everybody. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And today, we, this is going to be an absolute of a joke. Totally made up content by myself. <laughs> what can we expect? What can we expect from the Harkles? What can we expect from the Harkles and Tom Bauer's book? Well, yes, we, we, got, we got that uh, initial pre-order uh, system today. I, we were expecting. I, I was, uh, uh, like, worried. Why Tom Bauer's uh, truth or recollections or in research about the articles hasn't, uh, hadn't appeared as, as pre-order anywhere? And some of you have uh, trouble finding it on Amazon uh, of the U.S. and other parts of the world, but... It's already in Amazon and other um, booksellers in the UK. And in Amazon UK, it is already for pre-order. It comes on July 21st. Okay, it comes in July 21st. I already pre-ordered my copy. It's, I pre-ordered an ebook to have it as soon as it is released. And I'm going to read it the very same day. I'm going to read it the very same day. No waiting for anything else to give you. I hope to give you that very same day my first impressions on the book. Even if it's like, I think it's 400 pages long, but I will try to. I'm, I'm, I'm a fast reader. I can read quite fast if I put myself to. Yes, I'm going to read it. Uh, I hope to read it this very same day and have a, a, a couple a couple um, uh, episodes about it. So remember that Tom Bauer is one of the most uh, trusted sources in, in the media and whatever he puts on that book, you can be sure that he knows that he cannot be sued. He's unsuable. I, I don't know how to say that. I wouldn't even read a book. I will just get the recap from Jesus. I hope that Bauer doesn't sue me <laughs> for that. But well, yeah, that's that's what I'm what I'm gonna do. I think I think the the title. I was talking to my Paul on Twitter. Joshua is saying that it's a uh, uh, it's a quite seasoned on, on on book publishing. The title is really enticing. We, we didn't have the title until today. Revenge. Who's taking revenge? Is Megan that is taking revenge? I, I guess so. Megan is the one who's taking revenge. Megan, Harry, and the war between the Windsors. That's a very strong title. That's a quite strong title. And you, you know, you know that the design of the cover that is the actual design of the cover this, this is a meme of that i did of the articles but that is the actual um uh design of the cover we got gold colors and we got black and white you know that that high contrast of black and white you know that meg loves taking pictures of herself in black and white to add to the drama to the contrast to the to the expectation that's what this book cover wants to project okay that is and we got not only we got uh, we got harry on it uh, harry is quite small i don't know why harry is I, th I think the real protagonist of this book is megan that by the way is looking to to the other side like to that side of of the book I don't really understand why she needs revenge. What for? I don't know. She, she uh, maybe she feels like 
she was betrayed or treated bad or or or, or anything I live in Brazil and have already ordered my copy that's great so we have Megan here and we we can think that she's serious of course that she's serious about her revenge I think that's what they wanted to convey with the cover and also it's interesting that the cover also features Her Majesty the Queen Prince William, Catherine, Camilla, and Prince Charles. That is that is uh, that is relevant because, of course, you cannot have the whole story if you don't talk about the uh, all the protagonists of the story for not giving them security. Yeah, probably. I haven't been the audible version yet. Maybe it should it will be have a. An audible version but I haven't seen it yet I don't know I think I can check what was the book the book was number 24 in sales in Amazon was number 24 in best sellers in Amazon UK it's 21 right now it's 21 it went on pre-sale today, pre-sale just today, and it's already 21 in Amazon UK in most, most um, sold, not sold, but pre-order. Is it on Apple? I, I don't know. I don't know if it's, uh, it's on Apple too. I would listen to the audiobook if Jesus was reading it. Uh, maybe I will read some passages from that, some 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 very specific um, paragraphs when I get my hands on it. Rest assured. No, not on Amazon US yet. But well, the articles. Now we have more than two hundred Royal Rogues watching now. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate that. And thanks for hitting the like button. You wonder why don't we have more people here? More Rogues here. No, there is a Kindle edition. I, I already ordered a copy. You have to make sure that you're on the right page. There's the paperback and the Kindle. I'm grateful that you're here. Just hit the like button so more people can come and become rogues and subscribe and hit the like button. Hit the, <laughs> the bell too so you're aware when these lives go live, so to speak. So I was wondering, this is, was a total fun exercise on my part. The Harkos must be terrified waiting for Tom Bauer's book. Okay? They must be, they must be thinking, what can we do? What can we do to counteract? What can we do to counteract this storm that is coming? You can, you can imagine that they were expecting, maybe, maybe Tom Bauer had second thoughts. It hasn't been, uh, been on pre-order. Usually pre-orders can be months in advance. If you're going to sell the book in, in, in the fall or even in winter, you will make the pre-order in spring. That, 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 that's, that's feasible. That's normal in the book industry. But Tom Bauer just dropped this bomb and just eight days, eight days and here it comes. Okay. It was really blindsiding, blindsiding the articles. Now, now we're gonna say, we're gonna, we're gonna unveil what are my predictions? What are the articles doing? What are the articles doing to prevent this storm or at least counterattack this storm? And option number one is they're going to ram right through Oprah's front gate. This is my first prediction. They're going to grab a Hummer and those, not that urban Hummers that anyone can rent. No, not those SUV vanilla Hummers. No, a real military. I don't know if Harry has actually dri driven one of those. I don't know if, the, if Harry is familiar with that. Even of all his service, I, I should ask Trevor Colt. 
I should ask Trevor Cole. What do you think? Do you, do you think that Harry knows how to drive one of these? You know that Harry knows how to drive one of these? Well, they, they're going to ram through Oprah's front gate. Oprah, we need a second interview. But not in, in months, not in weeks, like right now. Interview us. We got here an iPhone. That we're going to record ourselves. We need an interview. We need to say something to... To, to combat, to distract, to grab our attention back. Because they will have, they will have the, all the attention they want. Rest assured. But not the attention they're expecting. Interesting. Harry's book will counter Tom's book. You wait. This is why he is stalling. Very good observation, Helen. That is my, that's what I think too. That Harry is holding back. Harry is holding back his book because he wants to know what is going to be in Tom Bauer's book so he can counterattack or he can counter counterbalance. He had that's why it's not even uh, um, not even announced for the fall and has been just pushed back, pushed back. They thought that they will they were going to have nice newer stories from the jubilee celebrations but they got none but just just storm out the country oh my god those comments those comments please remain civil remain civil please do you think the recent trip to oprah was because they knew the release date could explain why mm looked like she'd been crying yeah maybe but we already are aware that oprah most probably was in nashville tennessee uh preparing maybe the last event she was going to spend with her father i don't think oprah was uh, had any time or any uh, mental energy for the articles whatsoever all right, Neil Sean. Neil Sean said the release of Tom Bauer's book is why they are holding off publishing Harry's book. They want the dust to settle from revenge. Here yeah, or, or counterattack. Counterattack is what they, what they will will be doing. But yes, I cannot discard. They will be ramming right through Oprah's front gate. But that's number one. We got a few more to go. We got a few more to go, and the second one. The second option that the Harkles could have, right through the gate, pun intended, right through the gate on the 22, July 22, is FaceTime George for his birthday. You know that I, uh, George, uh, George, Prince George's birthday is in July 22nd. Please correct me. I'm aware that George's birthday is in July 22nd, right? That is the day after the book is released that is the day after revenge is released so the first thing that they're gonna do is to try to facetime george how to wish him a birthday and try to make it like sound like they are have excellent relationships with the royal family and they also miss uh, so, so miss uh little george you know that that was something that neil sean said last year that the royal that really miss Meghan and Harry, or especially Harry, of course, especially Harry. Oh, and Marie, and Marie, thank you. Thanks for your super chat. I just imagined your Photoshop thumbnail picture as the book cover instead of those boring photos on Tom's book it would be much more suitable. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, that will be much. Yeah, I, I should do a. Alternate cover. Thanks for the super chat, and Marie. Okay, so they're gonna. Uh, Neil Sean said last year, and I'm, I'm absolutely sure that's that's uh, that's normal. That George really missed Harry. You know that Harry had that that cool attitude. Has always had that cool attitude with with kids. Have been very playful. You can imagine that with his uh, with his first nephew. He was going to be very, very happy and sad of leaving to Montecito, California. And George will have been, well, a bit hard understanding why uh, Uncle Harry decided to just leave. So maybe at that time, George still miss him. Well, what do you think about right now? 
Do you think that George is going to be ex expecting Harry's FaceTime call with Aunt Meg too? Oh my God, you're you're you're, you're talking about Photoshop. You're talking about Photoshop. You're talking about Photoshop again. You're talking about you're putting Photoshop and kids on the same sentence, please, please. You're you're putting Photoshop and kids on the same same sentence. I, I cannot uh, feature your 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 comments like that. But I think that, well, uh, the Cambridges can always said there's a there was a problem with the connection. No connection went through. So. Uh, George gets a pass this time, and he's not gonna have to withstand, uh, you know, a FaceTime call from the Montecito duo. I'm, I'm glad about that because I wouldn't like to uh, FaceTime them either. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> this is George is such a lovely little boy. George is far cleverer than the dim ginger plunker. Uh, I don't know exactly what plonker means, but for the context, I can have an idea. I can have an idea, and I will allow that comment. I will allow that comment. I, I usually don't highlight comments like this. Such a diamond in the rough of YouTube. Thank you. Thanks, Maureen. Thank you. Thanks for that. I really appre appreciate that kind of comments. Compliments. Blanca, idiot. Oh my God! It, like he's something that someone that is you know a bit uh, like like uh, like like two planks close to one another. But well, this is the second option. Remember option number one. We ran right through Opera's front gate. Option number two. We FaceTime George for his birthday, which is the day after. So nobody notices revenge. Nobody will read revenge because everybody will be expecting us to. Uh, FaceTime George. And the third option, we have got a third option, is open TikTok account. You can, you can see it there. All right. You can better see it this way. Option, open TikTok account with Grifter Dance Challenge. Grifter Dance Challenge. That is the other option they got. Open a TikTok and begin dancing in front of the camera. That's the only thing. You you know, I know, I know, and some of your comments already this time. You, some of your comments today are saying that you know what kind of account you're expecting Megan to open. I'm not going to repeat it here. I'm not going to repeat it here, but you know what kind of account you're expecting Megan to open to pay for the bills. I'm not going to say it here. I'm not going to repeat that, but you know. And you're saying, I'm, I'm looking at your comments right now. I'm looking at your comments. How is it possible? And yeah, people are saying that Amber Hearst should open an account there too. You know, that, that makes good money. That makes good money. Maybe it's not that ethical, but that makes good money. You know that, which, which account we're talking about. But well, they could open a TikTok account with Grifter Dance Challenge. Just just, just dance in front of the camera. I don't know. Is, is this Archie in the back? Is this Archie in the back? I don't know. But they could name Grifter Dance Challenge and I am absolutely sure that thousands, if not millions of people will flock to do the Grifter Dance Challenge. In fact, I will do it. I will. I have a TikTok account. I haven't touched it in weeks. But if they do it, I will do the Grifter Dance Challenge too. I would do it. Of course. Wh whatever for clicks, I would do it. Uh, let's go ahead. And I, I will make sure to have more clicks than them. I'm, I'm very competitive. Let's do this. Let's do this, Megan and Harry. I'm, I'm going to help you become infamous. TikTok infamous. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> this is only articles. Oh my, only articles. Only articles. I had to, I had to highlight this. I had to highlight this. You, you make this so much fun. I, I, I could have, I could have the, any kind of day, any kind of day. But you, you make this all worth it. You make this worth it. 
Okay, explaining family feuds to children is always the hardest thing. You never want to talk in a negative way about family members to them, yet that is it's so hard to understand the, that there could be friction between brothers and that uh, small children uh, have the emotional tools to, to understand that someone can just leave. Uh, yeah, glad is uh, it, it's it's great at well, great is not a word, but it's better that it was uh, an uncle that just left. But when it's a dad or a mother, when it's a divorce, it's much more complicated. It's much more hard to uh, digest emotionally. Oh, this is this is good candidate for the burn of the day. Burn of the day, Lady Dragonstrike. You never disappoint. Only whinge. We pay them to stop complaining. Okay, well, but how much? How much for them to stop complaining? What, what, what would be the... They could go on Twitch, too. They could go on Twitch and now playing games. They love to play games. They love playing games with the royal family, playing games with um, the, uh, the British media, playing games with headlines, playing games with Montecito people. Santa Barbara people playing games with Oprah, they play games with everyone. Why don't open a Twitch account? Play games for real. And we could pay how how many subscribers until we stop complaining? I, I can I can I can hear Harry's voice in my mind saying, No, oh, this game is too hard. This game is too hard. Let's try something that is not at hard. Let's try Candy Crush. I don't know. Yes. I don't know what a grifter dance is, but it sounds rig ridiculously funny. Yeah, I know. I gave them, I gave them that idea. If they go with, through with it, you know who got who did they got that idea from? New dance, the ginger winger twist. Oh, that sounds that sounds great and groovy, baby. Groovy. That sounds sounds Austin Powers level groovy. Oh, well, we have these three options. The first option, run right through Oprah's front gate. Uh, option two, FaceTime George for his birthday. They're not going to connect. No connection. No connection. No connection going through. Option three, open TikTok account with Grifter Dance Challenge. And what is option four? Option four is go on Jimmy Fallon. Juggling. That's what you have to do, Has That is easy. That It can't get easy easier than that it can't get easier than that jimmy fallon laughs at anything anything literally okay jimmy fallon could be watching i don't know any of amber heard's witnesses that bore us to death and jimmy fallon would laugh at them will laugh, yes. He will be amused about then. So, you cannot mess this up. You just go to Jimmy Fallon's uh, live. You bring your three balls with you. You juggle with your balls. Don't matter if they fall to the ground. It don't matter if you, if picking them up, people see your balding bones. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Jimmy's gonna laugh at you. People, and they're gonna light this, this, this big word in the studio that says applause and people will applause and cheer on command. It's full prof. Sunshine Sachs. You know, that it's totally on the house. Totally on the house. Okay? Easy. Play with your balls. Play with your balls. Oh my god, this is this is interesting. They could have been. They could have visited Oprah. So she could connect with Dr. Phil. Megan will be perfect to go on Dr. Phil. You, you can imagine a Dr. Phil. Yeah, I can, I can picture that in my mind. I can picture that perfectly. Yeah, and Jimmy Fallon won't say mean things. No, he, he, he's always laughing. He's always, you, whatever you say, he laughs. Oh, my God. Yeah, Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil will absolutely nail that. Tell me. Tell me, Megan, how is that? How is? Tell me about your childhood, and Megan will tell that. Will will say that she had all this, all these these problems since she was a child. That's a struggling childhood, 
and everything else. I, I don't know if that was an, a, a, a Spanish will be Cristina or Laura in America. And all of a sudden, oh, we have your, your father, Thomas. Thomas is here. Thomas is here. Oh, no, no. Thomas is here. No, no. My father. Oh, reunited. And Samantha is here, too. Oh, oh, everyone crying. Everything explodes. Everybody forgot, forgets about revenge. There you have. That's foolproof. It's foolproof. Yeah. Yeah, in, invite, invite her. Yeah, Christina. Or Laura in America. Dr. Phil, not whatever you want. Make make her say, I would I would love to talk to my father right now. Well, we have your father right now here on stage. That will that will explode. That that, that will be amazing. Harkles on eyes, of course, because who doesn't want to see Harry on uh, on tights and ice uh, uh, skating? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I just lost that. Uh, that is that is that is an image I'm I'm not going to be able to get out of my mind easily. That is an image that I will not be able to take out of my mind. Thanks for your super sticker, Caroline. Thanks for your super sticker. A pure character doing a Shaka sign is saying, cool. And Doopy, Jesus, you appeared in the YouTube cartoon called The Sparkles. Yes, I saw myself. That was a great. That was, that was nice. It was nice to see myself in cartoon format. Oh, Doopy, thanks for your super chat, too. Thanks for the super chat, Doopy. To be in California, you're near to the Harkles. You 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 feel their 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 energy, their mojo. I don't know their their mojo. How will be their mojo right now? Uh, that's that is easy. I should include. I should have included that option, the Doctor Phil option. Thomas Markle is not her father. Thomas Markle is not her father. Some, something revealing. Something that will be absolutely off the mark. What? What, Oprah? What? A thousand times. A thousand times. All right. All right. So we got four options now. I, 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 I made up. I, I was a bit lazy today. I wanted to come up with ten options. I came up with six of them. Okay, the Dr. Phil will be a seventh one, very good one, and all, all you know, the, the, uh, the, all the drama and stuff will be perfect for this. That will be perfect for this. Okay, some of you are already spoiling one of my next options. And the next option is... The next option is... Meg will release the sequel to the band called the stench because it's all this stench and the stench the stench will be from the white house she wants to go to the white house and there's a stench in there have been a stench do you know that narrative has has has, has worked in the past you know that that narrative has worked in the past you know it you know it and Megan says, hmm, I could use that for myself. What are the odds? What are the odds? Yeah, there will be, there, this, this is, it will be. <laughs> yeah, you have to see the parody of the Windsors of Netflix. You, they make Megan quite monosyllabic. I, I don't think Megan is monosyllabic. I think she, she talks a lot. Smells like Hercule Spirit. Let's. Let's review our options so far. Let's review our options so far. Option one, run right through Oprah's front gate. Tell them, tell her about Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, tell Dr. Phil to receive me. It's urgent. It's urgent right now. A sweet, sweet reunion. Yeah. Option two, FaceTime George for his birthday. Option three, open TikTok account with Grifter Dance Challenge. Option four, Harry will go live with Jimmy Fallon and Juggles. This is the best one. This is the best that I come come with because it's doable. It's doable. Something that can actually happen. 
something that can actually happen or Megan can write the stand. But you know that show business is about, about shock value. And the articles need shock. Something to just, just something to just make ripples, waves through the royal verse. Something that just shock even, even more than Oprah's interview. And I thought of something, and I some th thought of something that is deceptively simple. How haven't them thought about option six? And you know what option six is? Something that they haven't tried yet, and they could do the very day the book comes out to distract everyone and say, this is the, th these are the new articles, these are different people, Harry is ready to forgive and go to the UK, everything better. Option six is Harry will wear a suit that is not gray. That will be shocking. That will send ripples through the royal verse. That will be unexpected, out of the blue. And even William and Catherine will be shocked and say, Maybe he has changed. Maybe he has changed and he's ready. And he's ready to, you know, for everyone to, to, to start from the beginning again. And the, and the queen, the queen, her majesty the queen, will smile and say, my job here, my hardest job so far in 70 years of reign has been done. This is, this is what I, this is, I'm proud of myself. I made the boy finally make to his senses just with this, this simple change. Harry, for the love that all that is sacred, wear something else other than gray. Please, please. You know, you know that uh, it's, you know that this, this, this picture was from their engagement day and that was a nice, n nice, Navy was like like like, like 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 this jacket. It was like this jacket. What color the shoes? I don't know. It could be magenta or or or, or red or anything. But that sh that's something that he he does that. Everyone will be wanting to interview Harry. Everyone he will be featured in the cover of magazines. People will name their babies Harry. Everything will change if only Harry burned, burned all his gray clothes. Please do it. We need that. The world needs that. We, the world needs real red jacket Harry. Okay? That, that, that maybe, maybe, maybe that could be seen as red coat Harry, mm, which um, could harm a bit his you know, American reputation, uh, but maybe it could be green coat Harry or purple coat Harry, or I don't know, Harry Styles. Yeah, he could do a video with Harry Styles. Uh, the latest Harry Styles video was really good. He was just a, just a, just a coat. It was like two colors. That was great. He, will, he should do a video or he should do, wait for it, combine everything. Go to Dr. Phil or go to Jimmy Fallon, Meghan and Harry on Jimmy Fallon, Harry wearing a red jacket, Meg wearing a blue jacket, and they stand up and live on TikTok at that very moment, they go with the grifter dance challenge and everything explodes. Everything explodes. There you have it. Nobody will talk about revenge. Nobody would talk about Tom Bauer's book. How genius, how, how, how genius of me, of course. But I, 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 this, this, this is something I'm doing for free. Just, just tell me. So many people tell me that I attack the Harkles. I, I'm giving their ideas. Oh yeah, it's, it's to go even further, it has to be a woke jacket. Yeah, the wokest jacket you can come up with. 
as soon as they to give Harry some fashion advice, all you ha all Harry has to do is wear a tie, wear a tie, as Neil Sean said. <laughs> yes, stop giving them ideas. I can I cannot. I want to help people. You know that my channel, all my channels, is about helping people, and I know, I'm sure, that 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 people can be redeemed. And if you want to a, a new life, a new chapter in your life, to to ask for a second chance, you have to show the world that you change. And that's what he has to do. Wear a suit that is not gray. That is all that he has to do. If you have any other ideas beyond the ones today, if you have any other ideas, oh my God. Oh my God, there's some words that you're in, in the comments. Yeah, I know that you're talking about. I know you're talking about, yeah. yeah the pull on a J-Lo. Oh my God, no, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna talk about those topics here. Please, I want to uh, remain non-non-politics. I want to remain non-politics. So far, my favorite one is Harry going live with Jimmy Fallon. And juggles with his balls. Play with your balls. Play with your balls live. And everybody, everybody, Jimmy Fallon, everybody will follow Jimmy Fallon laughing. Laughing. My royal rogues. I have in one hour a very difficult live. A very difficult live on my other, my original The Battle Language Guy channel. I have a very difficult live because I will be reviewing a difficult video. I'm not gonna mention the video, but if you're subscribed to the Battle Language Guy, maybe you already saw um, uh, and got a notification. If not, just uh, leave there, because one hour I will be going live to analyze a very difficult topic. Uh, I didn't want to get into that topic, but uh, for so many requests, I'm gonna take a look at it and live. And before I take a look at that video, I have to review that video to make sure it's, you know, as per YouTube standards, vanilla enough. So today, this uh, Royal Rogue language, uh, this will be the, the, this will be the easiest, this is one. Option seven, Harry and Meghan go on national television and say we were wrong. Yeah, this is one. This is one. They, they don't even have to go on national television. Just, just turn off your phone and, and I don't know, FaceTime Oprah, and that is it. And that's it. Yeah, maybe no notification because it will be in one hour. You will get one notification um, thirty minutes before. So I have to prepare myself not only the content because I have to review the content to make sure that nothing wrong goes on camera at any minute as know exactly what's going to be on camera because a very delicate topic and you might be already aware that what it is and what's one of the things that Megan jumped the one of the bandwagons Megan jumped last month yeah uh, quite a tragedy but I'm gonna review that uh, surface video today and that'll be the surface today and I have to prepare myself, so I'm going to end this episode a bit short. But it was a lot of fun. It, it was how, uh, how uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. And yes, the Dr. Phil option, uh, I think that, that could be done. My Royal Rogues, my Royal Rogues. I'm waiting for that book to read that. But maybe in one day, in less than one day, to skim through it and read some passages uh, in front of you, but I know that will be like a whole week or maybe two weeks talking about the ripples. I hope that the book is juicy. I hope, I hope that it is. And for this moment, I'm saying goodbye. I have a lot of fun and I hope that you had a lot of fun too. My Royal Rogues, my name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Pro. I'm the Battle Language Guy. And I'll be seeing you, if you want, on my 
the Bottom Language Guy channel in less than one hour from now. Take care. I love you all. And if you're not, well, there, good evening and, and have a great night. Take care. Love you all.